Now, what can you do against this team? Well, I tell you what, I mean, you, you got to hope that they don't shoot the ball well, and tonight they shot the ball really well. Um, you know, they were they, a number of different girls hit threes. So, yeah, I mean, what we were trying to uh, we were trying to uh, uh, not allow them to get to the rim, which I don't know how good a job we did in that regard. Um, but, you know, w w we got to be okay with them taking threes and, and, and then live with the fact that if, you know, that if they make them, they make them. Um, but, no, they're, they're just – they're a really, really good team. Uh, they're, they're fun to watch unless you're on the opposing bench. Um, but you know what? We've got some room to improve. And, and, and like I told the girls after the game, let's see how good we can get. And, you know, let's, let's try to play them again at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, I watched uh, Tori Jennison. Now, she's got a, a Division One player she's right. playing against right. here. But she wasn't backing down, and that was good to see. Yeah, it was. And, and you know, we got to, you know, Tori continues to get better. She's got a ways to go, um, but she'll work at it. Um, and, you know, she's not 100% healthy either. She's been, she's got a foot that's been nagging at her. So we got to get her healthy. Um, but, no, I mean, she'll – you know, at the end of the year, again, we want her to we want her to be even with that girl. And um, no, I mean, and, and real pleased with how we played the second half. You know, I, I thought that our three young girls coming off the bench did a nice job. Um, Elia Herikoff probably had her best game of the uh, of the season at the varsity level. She was a difference maker on both ends. Um, and, and then Kalen continues to get better. And I thought Jenna Riley played a really, really solid game. Um, on both ends. I mean, she was she was in there battling against those big girls for rebounds. So real pleased with how those three played. I'm sure too, as I watch Sierra Court now, she's got Pels around her, and those two have battled a lot <laughs> since yeah. they were little, right? Yeah. But uh, what can I'm sure it's frustrating for Sierra Court. What what can she do to try to overcome that? Yeah, you know, we we need to do. I need to do a better job of of, of figuring out ways for her to get get shots. Um, you know, have her come off screens and things, and, and we, we will. I mean, we'll, we'll do some things to, to have some sets to, to get her open. Um, you know, I, I thought that, um, you know, there were, were, were times where Sierra tried to do too much versus just letting the things come to her. Um, but she was frustrated because, you know, Pelzer is an extremely good defensive player. So, um, but, no, I mean, we're, we, we definitely need Sierra to, to, to score and, and hit threes and, We've got confidence in her. We've got confidence that, uh, that, that she'll get that job done. Well, again, I like the attitude or the thought of let's see them in the playoffs, and that's yeah. hopefully the next time you see them. But, uh, you know, to just keep on working on things, and, again, some of the games that you've got coming up, it'll be okay, right? Yeah, you know, I, I was talking to the girls about next week. we got two section games in this gym. Um, Friday's game, to me, is really, really important. I mean, I, I think Malak is going to be the, one of those teams that are going to be in the top four or five of the section. And that's, that's a game you want to win for QRF purposes. So, um, you know, that'll be a big game. But we got, we got, to, we got to beat Kimball first, and, and they've got some good players as well. Say just one final thought. I'm looking ahead to Tuesday with Albany and Providence Academy at Albany. Yeah. What do you think about that one? Yeah, I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to be anxious to see the score. I mean, <clears throat> if we didn't play, I'd buzz over there and watch just from a, a basketball fan perspective. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, as good as Albany is, Providence seems to just be on a different planet. I, th I think they it, it might be tonight or tomorrow where they're playing Lakeville North. Yeah, tonight. Who is ranked number three in 4A. So, I mean, they, they've been just obliterating everybody, good teams. It doesn't matter. They've been just really taking it to people. So, again, I guess the attitude, what did you sense from the girls here uh, really towards the end of the game when you talked with them after the game here? How are they feeling about this? Yeah, their heads were up. I mean, they, 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 were, they, were, they felt better about the second half. And, um, you know, as we talked at halftime, we just need to continue to um, have fun, get better, um, emphasis on have fun. I mean, we, we want to we have fun as, as we play. And, you know, the message was let's have fun and play hard.